Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, Dileshwar Rao from uh, Aeronautical Department. Um, so, on our uh, uh, ongoing classes, uh, we are discussing about automatic control of aircraft uh, on the uh, course content. Uh, in the last few uh, few classes, we have uh, discussed about uh, types of uh, guidance system and uh, automatic tracking system and uh, uh, self-sustained uh, guidance system uh, levels and uh, what are the what are its uh, uses, usages and the uh, instrumentations used for uh, uh, instrumentations used for uh, uh, making that control surfaces uh, uh, in control of uh, uh, i mean uh, how to uh, how automatically we can control the uh, control surfaces also we have uh, discussed on our last few uh, classes so so now uh, we are uh, discussing on uh, uh, some uh, mathematical formulation behind that uh, behind uh, aircraft uh, uh, stability and uh, control. So, so what is the use of uh, this? Uh, I mean, uh, aircraft stability and uh, what are the mathematical behavior? How how to design a control system? Uh, and uh, what uh, what is the theoretical background uh, behind that uh, control system uh, design? Also, we need to know because. Uh, see here, we uh, uh, from uh, last few classes we discussed on uh, uh, what are the types of instrumentations and uh, what are the types of uh, 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 things needed for uh, 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 control the surfaces and uh, radar control and uh, how to uh, get control of uh, uh, the system. That everything we uh, did uh, earlier, but now uh, we are uh, we are in a phase like uh, we need to uh, uh, we need to uh, uh, discuss on uh, what is the theoretical background and mathematical formulation behind this uh, control system design because every control system is being uh, designed with uh, uh, the computer operated i mean we, nowadays uh, uh, every control system is being computer operated only so the computer uh, computer operated the system then uh, generally will uh, depend on uh, the control system, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the mathematical formulation behind this because uh, the, con uh, the, uh, the things we are, I mean, the command we are giving to the control uh, uh, computer will be in a machine language that we know like uh, it will be in uh, zeros and ones. So, to convert that machine language, I mean, uh, to convert our uh, commands to uh, machine language, uh, it should need uh, uh, some uh, mathematical uh, transformation only because we need to give that uh, commands in terms of uh, mathematical equation. Then that mathematical equation will form a uh, form an integration and differentiation uh, 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 equation format. So that will uh, uh, make that uh, command to uh, that will make that command into uh, the machine uh, uh, machine language code. So that the computer will respond with that commands and it will uh, uh, give uh, the reaction. I mean, reaction means what is the output of our command? Uh, it will show it on uh, instruments. So, uh, so uh, just uh, I mean, uh, uh, take it uh, take it dot and uh, uh, as a part. So now we are uh, discussing on what are the basic formulation and what are the basic equations for making that uh, aircraft. Uh, to be in a, uh, to be uh, make it as a mathematical equation like a whole aircraft body is a uh, like a big design so that need to be make it into the mathematical uh, 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 mathematical equation so we need to know first what is the uh, theory behind that uh, uh, mathematical equation so on that way uh, now we are uh, discussing on uh, uh, that uh, stability of uh, our, uh, our aircraft. So the stability of aircraft is depend upon uh, two things. Uh, that is uh, static uh, static stability and dynamic stability. So static stability means when a system is uh, statically stable, where uh, if we give some uh, motion to that one and it is if it is uh, again regaining its uh, original position, then uh, that will be call it as a uh, statically stable uh, uh, thing. If uh, if it is in a moving condition and some disturbances happen to that one, uh, even though if it is coming to that uh, coming to its uh, original position, then it is called it as a dynamically stable uh, uh, condition. So, in this uh, statically stable and dynamically stable uh, condition, we need to know uh, what are the uh, things we uh, things required to. Uh, focus on uh, focus on the design of uh, uh, this aircraft. So, 
first of all we are uh, uh, discussing on a statically stable condition so as of uh, our course starting uh, stage only we have given some inputs like uh, the prerequisites for uh, this uh, course will be like uh, depends on aircraft static st static stability and uh, control uh, system and uh, flight mechanics uh, thing so uh, if you have a uh, uh, glance on uh, the uh, glance on that uh, uh, things so that you you will uh, get the i mean so that you will get the uh, chance to uh, what i am uh, exactly saying what i am trying to say and uh, what is the requirement of these equations and how these equations will be link, linked into other uh, uh, implementation uh, of a mathematical model also you can know so let's get into the uh, topic now so we are discussing on uh, uh, longitudinal uh, dynamics of uh, aircraft so uh, the uh, the the stability of an aircraft is being depend upon uh, the basic things like uh, range endurance its uh, uh, basic uh, uh, axis of equation uh, equations of motion and uh, what are the lift equation drag equation and thrust equation that are uh, already we had a idea on uh, uh, i mean uh, idea on uh, uh, previous classes like uh, i like i said uh, from the prerequisite uh, subjects we already have a uh note on uh, how that equations will be looks like so in this way uh, we are uh, just uh, giving uh, the glance of that equation how that equations have been formed and how that equations have been used so that only we are discussing now so let's see now uh, we are uh, discussing about the equations of motion of an aircraft so every aircraft or in a moving object will have a reference to uh, reference with respect to the surface only because the surface uh, i mean uh, whenever it is flying uh, flying uh, uh, over a surface or, or in uh, uh, air so it has a refer it has uh, it, it will have a reference uh, thing so that reference thing will be with respect to the surface or if it is in moving in air with respect to that uh, um, moving axis also i mean if that axis also should should be move with respect to one origin only so for finding out or for fixing that the uh, origin uh, uh, origin of axis so how to i mean uh, what is the uh, basic thing to fix that origin of an aircraft like origin means that axis of an aircraft because every um, i mean uh, aircraft is a three dimensional body so it will have a three dimensional motion also like uh, three dimensional motion means 3 degree 6 uh, degree of uh, freedom uh, motion is there like a 6 uh, degree of freedom means what uh, around the point uh, how many types it can move so simply you can say around a point or around an axis how how many types uh, uh, it, uh, many, how many ways it can move so to discuss on that what is the uh, what is its axis i mean what uh, what is its uh, uh, axis uh, uh, axis no orientation how this axis has been uh, fixed to uh, the aircraft body and what is the at the uh, axis for at the axis system and body axis system so those things we will uh, discuss now so let's see now uh, the equations of motion of an aircraft we are uh, saying like uh, like if uh, the transfer function of an aircraft is a first uh, i mean it's a necessary object for uh, uh, deriving the equation of motion for any aircraft so the equations of motion is derived by applying that newton uh, second law only like uh, newton law of uh, motion is uh, uh, generally the basic equation for uh, deriving this equations of motion that's why we already uh, know it in our uh, 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 class 6 and 7th uh, standard uh, itself so what are the newton laws and uh, how uh, based on the newton laws how that equations of motion and the equation of uh, 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 inertial equation uh, uh, or uh, how that one uh, uh, i mean how that uh, equations have been uh, Uh, derived that we already uh, known at the, that level so we are uh, just uh, recalling that one so to uh, get the uh, simulation i mean uh, the summation of uh, external forces acting on an aircraft or a movements acting on an uh, uh, aircraft that may be in a linear condition or maybe in a uh, angular uh, uh, angular uh, acceleration like a linear means uh, within a uh, uh, within a straight direction so if it is in a straight direction the, uh, the forces acting on uh, aircraft will be like what so the uh, first thing will be whenever the aircraft is going on like this so opposite force will be acting on this one that is called it as a drag 
So drag force acting opposite to the aircraft motion and uh, uh, the uh, opposite to the drag force, the thrust force need to be generated by the aircraft. That means thrust force means we are giving the propulsive force to that the aircraft, then only it will move forward. So in a linear direction, the force is acting on uh, uh, aircraft will be the drag force and the thrust force. So both uh, will be opposite. So uh, this is a uh, uh, basic condition only. Like uh, like, uh, like if it is an aircraft uh, CG, so the uh, the drag force will be acting on uh, this direction and thrust force will be acting on that direction. So uh, in a more general way, if you want to uh, say like uh, like see here, if an uh, a, uh, An aircraft is uh, like this, suppose. So it is a uh, uh, aerodynamic center of uh, uh, aircraft. So what is the aerodynamic center of an aircraft? Uh, around that uh, point, all the forces will be acting on that. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, acting with respect to that point only. So that point is called as a aerodynamic center. And what is a uh, CG of the aircraft? CG means when the whole all weight. Aircraft oh, uh, whole weight will be acting with respect to, uh, I mean, the, the in downward direction with respect to that point. So that is called CG point. So CG may vary, but aircraft uh, uh, aerodynamic center won't be varying. So aerodynamic center will be like, uh, uh, I mean, uh, it's a constant only because uh, when the, the uh, center is constant, then only the forces will be in equilibrium condition because we are uh, taking that uh, equations in equilibrium condition when. The, uh, the forces are acting at uh, one point only. So, if we know that point, I mean, if we uh, locate that point, then we will uh, easily know that uh, this will be the reference point. With respect to that point only, the forces will be acting on that. Then we can know what type of forces, uh, uh, other than the uh, normal forces, uh, uh, what are the external forces acting on that one. And according to that, how we need to design. So, that things we can easily design. So, on that way, the forces acting on aircraft will be like uh, 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 in this direction and the upward and downward direction. So this will be the drag force and this will be the uh, thrust force and this will be the uh, lift force and this will be the weight acting downward. So, so weight acting downward means uh, uh, here we are uh, assuming that uh, aer aerodynamic center and CG are at same po same point. So then only the weight will be acting on that point and uh, uh, accordingly on opposite direction lift will be generated. So how lift will be generated, how the aircraft will flow, that thing so you already know. Like uh, like if you want to know about that one, like uh, whenever uh, when a flow is flowing over an airfoil, like, uh, uh, like you just see, when a flow is flowing over an aircraft, so this is basic aerodynamics only. Uh, uh, so when flow is flowing over an aircraft, it will be get separated. And uh, according to the Bernoulli's law, so the f when a flow is flowing over an any object, uh, uh, the flow will be generated. That uh, uh, around that flow, the uh, I mean. <laughs> The three forces like uh, three energy head like a pressure head, uh, velocity head, uh, kinetic head and potential head at any point will be uh, constant. So suppose if you take at any point on the this flow, so there the uh, pressure head and velocity head and kinetic head will be uh, uh, constant. And when a flow is flowing over an aircraft, that, uh, uh, the for, I mean the velocity upper side of that object will be uh, high and velocity lower side of the object will be low. So that the pressure on the lower side will be high and pressure on the higher side will be low. Then only uh, according to that uh, air, uh, airfoil shape the lift will be generated. That means when a flow is separated over an aircraft, I mean separated over an uh, airfoil. So due to that uh, flow separation, the flow on uh, uh, upper surface of that uh, airfoil. That means here the velocity will be more and here the velocity will be less. So that 
uh, accordingly the pressure changes also will happen here the pressure will be uh, uh, pre pressure will be less and here the pressure will be more so that due to the pressure changes the airfoil get lift when the flow is uh, uh, when the flow velocity is been increasing so that the lift also being uh, increasing and the separation also will be uh, uh, takes place uh, very rapidly uh, and if we change the angle of attack also like angle of attack means what uh, 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 the angle with respect to the flow direction so uh, if that angle of attack also change so that the lift will be uh, uh, further increases right so this is the basic principle behind that uh, uh, any airfoil okay so on that way uh, uh, we are not ma much going in uh, uh, inside into the aerodynamics so we are uh, uh, giving uh, a plans on uh, uh, our air uh, equations of motion so uh, see here the center of axis system by definition uh, uh, it's called as center of gravity of the aircraft so in general the axis system is uh, fixed for the aircraft and uh, rotates uh, uh, within it so the axis system uh, the axis system fixed for the body is called as a body axis system and is uh, such an axis system that uh, that could be fixed for uh, for an example aircraft mass and uh, the aircraft could rotate with respect to that point only so the purpose of this axis system will be uh, taken as fixed i mean uh, whenever the axis system we have uh, designed for an air, any aircraft making it as a fix so that uh, we will have a reference to uh, a reference uh, of the aircraft like uh, aircraft is having this much uh, i mean uh, this references so with respect to these differences only the aircraft can move so how that uh, references we can see so this is a, a, a basic uh, i mean uh, one aircraft model in having a, a axis system general uh, axis system for any aircraft so this uh, axis notation will be constant for every aircraft i mean for every mathematician i mean uh, mathematical model if you want to do with an aircraft i mean if you want to design a mathematical model of an aircraft so first we need to see this axis notation and the rotational uh, uh, rotational coordinates and uh, uh, the nomenclature uh, uh, opted for the, each rotation and each motion also so that uh, that you make it as a constant then only you can know so these are the uh, uh, parameters in x direction and the y direction z direction we can separate it out otherwise if you make it a uh, different nomenclature for different uh, things so that we will uh, get uh, confusion only okay so let's see uh, uh, so here uh, you see so the aircraft is having uh, this is a linear axis like uh, if it is a motion in a uh, uh, forward direction this is a linear axis and uh, uh, this will be the lateral axis lateral axis means the lateral movement uh, 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 to the sides right so so the uh, linear axis i mean the forward axis we always uh, uh, notate it with the x and the velocity notation will be u okay so so the uh, uh, the, uh, the nomenclature for forward uh, uh, forward direction will be u i mean forward velocity will be u and for lateral lateral means there are uh, two axes are uh, there like uh, 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 with respect to along the uh, along the wings one axis is there that we uh, notated with uh, y and uh, uh, perpendicular to that uh, wing axis uh, the uh, one axis going downward that is called, uh, that is we know, uh, denoted with uh, z okay so the uh, the velocities like uh, the velocity components for uh, y axis and z axis we note uh, uh, we, we denoted with uh, the v and w okay so here if you the motion if you want to uh, uh, if the motion uh, of aircraft you, you want to uh, uh, make it so in a linear equation i mean uh, in a, uh, a forward direction if it is getting rotated i mean if uh, the uh, the aircraft is like that like uh, uh, like this aircraft is like that and if it is getting rolled i mean uh, uh, this is the axis if it is getting rolled around the axis or uh, so if it is ro uh, getting rolling motion around this axis that uh, uh, that uh, uh, reference axis we call, we will take it as a x axis and with respect to y axis 
with respect to y axis means the axis along the uh, along the uh, i mean axis along the uh, uh, wings so with uh, the motion with respect to the wing is called it as a pitching movement so here you see uh, it will be on uh, upward or maybe the downward so the motion upward or downward uh, uh, movement uh, will call it as a pitching movement of uh, uh, aircraft so the pitching movement angle we will generally uh, denoted with uh, alpha okay so the pitching movement uh, uh, angle we uh, denoted with alpha and another movement is called the uh, yawing movement so the yawing movement will be with respect to the z uh, z axis so z axis is like that and the velocity component around the z axis will be w and the uh, aircraft will be like uh, like you see this is a, a thing then it may move like this or or like this so with respect to uh, this point it may move like this or like this so that is called yawing movement yawing movement is for uh, the directional uh, uh, thing like a directional movement of uh, or getting the directional movement or left or right uh, rightward uh, we uh, take the reference axis as a z z axis one. so that you see here when an, uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, linear axis and if it is uh, moving towards uh, uh, this direction or may uh, in the right direction or a left direction the angle with respect to that uh, 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 linear axis is call it as a we uh, denoted as a yawing angle that is denoted with beta so what is gamma i mean uh, there will be three angles alpha beta gamma alpha beta gamma so alpha is for pitching moment angle beta is for uh, yawing moment angle and gamma is for rolling moment angle so like uh, like mm -hmm. you see here uh, so this is a uh, uh, axis uh, and uh, if it is uh, getting a uh, uh, angle with respect to this one and this will be call it as a gamma so the rolling moment angle is call it as a gamma so these are the constant uh, notations for any aircraft uh, uh, motion like uh, whenever you are giving a uh, uh, i mean uh, whenever you are uh, giving a uh, uh, motion with respect to uh, the axis you will, should take the notations like uh, uh, the linear axis will be x axis and the pitching uh, uh, the uh, wing axis lateral axis will be uh, along the wing axis will be y axis and uh, uh, the weight axis i mean the perpendicular to the uh, perpendicular to the wing axis is called it as a z axis and and the uh, movements like uh, pitching movement angle we, we generally denoted with alpha and yawing movement angle we uh, uh, we denoted with uh, beta mm -hmm. and rolling movement angle p denoted with gamma okay so and the linear uh, forward direction uh, velocity we call it as a uh, forward direction velocity we denoted with u and the uh, yawing movement uh, velocity or like uh, uh, like uh, like you say uh with respect to y axis uh with respect to y axis the uh, pitching moment angle uh, pitching moment uh, uh, velocities like uh, uh, upward uh, upward velocity or downward velocity that we generally don't denoted with the v and uh, yawing moment so the yawing moment uh, uh, the, uh, the yawing moment uh, velocities we generally denoted with w so this u v w and x y z and uh, uh, this alpha beta gamma angle we should uh, uh, we should continue this with the uh, entire our, uh, uh, design uh, concentration like uh, for, uh, for for our uh, future i mean enter this uh, subject or maybe the uh, uh, flight mechanics or uh, stability subject also you need to remember uh, these things uh, for uh, uh, every notation like uh, whenever someone is asking for what is the pitching moment angle what is the uh rolling moment angle or what is, what is the yawing moment angle you should uh, able to know i mean you should able to say that uh, these uh, these are the common notations for any aircraft okay so the equation of motion from the newton second law of uh, 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 newton second law we generally uh, uh, defined as the rate of change of momentum with respect to uh, time is equal to that applied force acting on the body 
like a uh, uh, like like we can say whenever we are applying a force on a body that force will be equal to the rate of change of momentum of that body with respect to time we'll uh, call it as a uh, the total uh, uh, we'll call it as a newton second law of motion that means uh, the force acting on that one will be equal to the uh, uh, momentum change so in that momentum change if it is in a linear direction then we denoted with uh, uh, f and if that uh, moment uh, uh, is in angular direction like uh, angular if the force uh, force acting on that one to make a uh, make a uh, angular moment then that is called it as a um, uh, uh, that, that will be denoted with f so what is this momentum what is this force like uh, when a uh, uh, when a uh, a aircraft is like that when the forces linear direction is acting on uh, uh, this one like uh, uh, linearly uh, all forces acting on that one will generally denoted with f and that uh, 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 moments like uh, moments means what uh, uh, if it is a point and here some moment uh, uh, some force is acting uh, at a distance uh, uh, l from the center aerodynamic center so the, then there will be a moment uh, creation will take place so this momentum uh, moments will uh, call it as a uh, this moments will be denoted with f so the sigma f will be generally we call it with uh, uh, d, uh, d by dt of uh, 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 m into vt and uh, sigma m the moments will uh, uh, denoted with uh, dh by e, dt so this h h will be uh, uh, denoted at what are the uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, horizontal or uh, uh, maybe the particular particular forces at a distance are acting on that uh, uh, acting on a surface so here the sigma f not and sigma uh, m not are uh, the summation of equilibrium forces and momentum momentum act, uh, acting with respect to so one point like a fixed uh, fixed axis system point i mean uh, origin point we have uh, considered no with respect to that origin points only all moments and forces will be uh, taken care so the uh, forces uh, we generally uh, denoted with the sigma f not and sigma delta f. delta f will be the change of forces and f not will be the uh, 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 actual forces acting on that and m not also same the momentum uh, uh, momentum uh, for uh, moments acting on that one and uh, delta m will be so sigma m not uh, will be uh, the um, moments acting on uh, acting with respect to the force and uh, 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 delta m not uh, uh, delta m will be change of moment uh, moments acting uh, with respect to that point so the equilibrium uh, generally the for an equilibrium condition the forces acting linearly on uh, uh, I mean the forces acting on uh, surface will be lift drag thrust and the uh, 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 gravitational force uh, uh, the, uh, the, that are uh, acting on the uh, surface and the moments consist of uh, the angular momentum i mean the uh, resulting uh, lift drag generated by various uh, portions of uh, uh, aircraft and the thrust forces so the, therefore aircraft initially an uh, initially it's an unaccelerated flight like uh, if it is uh, uh, stand still on the ground or maybe if it is uh, in a cruise condition with a constant velocity so the forces will be acting on uh, the aircraft will be always uh, uh, constant at every point we, then only that condition is called it as the equilibrium condition that means when a, um, a aircraft is in motion or when aircraft is in standstill condition the forces acting on uh, that uh, uh, that will be in an equilibrium uh, condition that means all the direction forces will be equal each other then only the aircraft will be stable condition okay if it is in a moving our arrangements if it is in a uh, air and the forces acting on uh, that uh, aircraft is constant then how that aircraft is moving forward because it is already in a motion condition it is already in a motion condition due to that motion condition every way the forces are in a downward and upward and forward and backward direction will be equal i mean uh, we, we will in uh, equal uh, equally uh, distributing so that because of the downward forces and upward forces uh, are equal then only it is uh, stable on uh, uh, the air otherwise it won't be stable no it will be fall down so like that for uh, uh, maintaining that stable condition the propulsive force will be acting equal and opposite to the drag force acting on the airport uh, airport 
and also the weight equal uh, acting downward uh, uh, the gravitational wave, uh, force acting downward will be uh, e equal and opposite to the lift force acting on that uh, uh, aircraft so so that if the forces are equal then only that aircraft is stable okay like that if it is in a stand standstill condition also same uh, same thing only because there is no movement on the aircraft even though the forces acting on that will be equal so uh, so this is uh, this is the basic condition for any equilibrium condition we are uh, expecting for any body uh, so on that way to find out the uh, forces and movements uh, acting on the aircraft uh, we should uh, have some uh, object, i mean we should uh, assume some uh, 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 some conditions for uh, making this equation to be happen so those conditions are called as uh, i mean uh, those are the assumptions uh, uh made for uh, deriving that equilibrium conditions are like uh, the mass of aircraft will be remains constant during any particular dynamic analysis like uh, the mass of aircraft so the mass of aircraft will be uh, always we are taking it as a constant only throughout the uh, throughout our uh, uh, concentration uh, so there is no uh, rate of change of mass with respect to time uh, we are not uh, we are not considering that uh, rate of change of mass with respect to time or with respect to space that we are not uh, considering here so the aircraft of uh, mass uh, mass of aircraft is constant all over the all over the condition and the aircraft is a rigid body rigid body means it's not a, it's not a standstill body rigid body means it's a uh, i mean uh, it won't be deformed uh, due to this forces acting on that one so uh, won't be deformed means uh, there is no stresses or strains acting on that one we are not considering that condition we are considering like if it is a uh, if the stresses and strains are acting on that also that will be another part but uh for uh, a, 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 a statically stable or dynamically stable condition we are thinking like this is a uh, rigid body if it is moving forward or backward or downward or uh, upward the uh, the aircraft is stable aircraft is stable and is not getting deformed is not getting deformed by any external forces so that is called rigid body condition and the at uh, this in uh, inertial difference uh, axis system for uh, uh, aircraft like uh, we like we say that uh, the earth axis system the earth axis system is uh, like uh, generally we consider no x y z directions so x uh, so x y and z so this is the x uh, uh, i mean uh, earth axis system and here the origin so same thing will be in a reverse condition that is for a body axis system of an uh, aircraft so uh, the body axis uh, system uh, how we have uh, considered so this is the uh, uh, x direction and this is the y direction and this is a z direction so so uh, this is the body axis system of an uh, uh, aircraft and uh, uh, at the axis system we take it as always reference for any uh, aircraft uh, so that we, if we take it as a reference system then only we can know uh, the forces acting on aircraft will be uh, stable at any point so now first we uh, will uh, uh, develop uh, what are the forces acting on the uh, uh, inertial phase or uh, uh, maybe with respect to the uh, at the coordinate uh, system so the forces acting on a uh, an aircraft will generally uh, denote it with a delta f and that will be uh, we write it as a uh, rate of change of momentum so rate of change of momentum is what dmv by dt but we assume that m is m is mass of uh, uh, aircraft so that is constant so d vt by dt so vt is the the uh, the velocity uh, that uh, uh, velocity of an uh, aircraft only so uh, this is here the i represents that uh, inertial space inertial uh, space and f is the uh, uh, i mean e represents the uh, at the coordinate system okay so with respect to earth and with respect to the inertial space of uh, 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 initial position of uh, uh, aircraft are uh, making it as a equal so that so both are uh, 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 i mean uh, this initial uh, earth axis system we, uh, we consider as a uh, reference axis system so that so with respect to e or with respect to i the, the forces acting on that will be always equal to this uh, uh, mdv by dt so then 
uh, here you see, see you see the dv by dt is the rate of change of linear velocity and uh, the omega uh, omega is a uh, total angular uh, angular velocity omega is uh, uh, what we uh, assumed in omega omega in, uh, with respect to the z direction so the z direction uh, uh, z direction axis uh, uh, velocity will be uh, like a, um, we uh, uh, made it with uh, omega so the uh, the angular axis with respect to z uh, is what yeah in uh, yeah in motion uh, velocity that the angular motion, uh, motion velocity is uh, uh, is uh, like a uh, angular velocity only so that angular velocity is, uh, uh, is denoted with the omega and linear velocity we denoted with capital b so this is capital b and this is capital omega and if we uh, you, we know that velocity will be the uh, in a vector form so that if we write it in a vector form so i u plus j v plus k w uh, uh, in a vectorial form and the same way the angular velocity also if you write it in a uh, vectorial form so i p and j q and uh, uh, k r uh, will be the uh, 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 will be the uh, vectorial form for omega then what will be the dv uh, dvt by dt so dvt by dt is uh, having uh, uh, two uh, considerations no? so that is called dvt by dt plus omega cross uh, 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 omega cross vt like uh, uh, if it is uh, having uh, two uh, variables like uh, vt and omega uh, we have uh, uh, substituted here like a uv relation only uh, uh, differentiation uv relation only so v into d2 and uh, omega into vt we have considered uh, here so uh, if it is uh, that omega into uh, vt we uh, we call it as a cross product so here the cross product uh, signifies that uh, uh, the uh, angular velocities with respect to uh, the linear velocities we uh, we taking it in uh, the cross product values so dot product means direct values only we are uh, we will uh, take it but in cross product with respect to the uh, vectorial uh, 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 vectorial uh, uh, directions uh, only we are uh, considering so here you see the dv by dt so that's a direct uh, 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 direct uh, vector integration so that a vector integration uh, uh, parameters in uh, all the direction is uh, u v w i mean uh, that uh, after uh, uh, the differ differentiation in that direction that will be i u uh, dot plus uh, uh, v uh, j v dot and uh, 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 k w dot so uh, the q dot v dot w dot will be the uh, will be the uh, differentiation form of uh, form with respect to the direction and other thing is what uh, uh, omega cross uh, vt so this uh, if a cross product uh, between uh, two uh, vectors where can be uh, taken by this uh, uh, mathematic i mean uh, matrix uh, 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 matrix uh, formation so matrix formation i j k and v is uh, p q r and uh, for uh, uh, o o omega it will be like u v w so then that the uh, uv i mean uh, this is for v and this is for uh, uh, omega so if you do the uh, matrix uh, data of that matrix so that will be like uh, uh, the uh, normal uh, data of matrix is what i into uh, like uh, uh, these two i mean uh, this uh, two, two uh, column and uh, row is uh, taken out so this uh, we are taking uh, first uh, uh, cross product uh, between this one ad minus pc like that so that is a uh, normal mathematics only like uh, i into uh, omega q, uh, wq minus vr uh, plus uh, j plus j means uh, here uh, it will be uh, it will be minus j but uh, here uh, the equation we are uh, uh, if you make it as so how it will be like uh, this will be minus j into pw minus ur so the pw minus ur will be we have uh, uh, write it in uh, 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 i mean we have uh, i mean v multiplied with minus that means what the minus j into pw minus ur uh, ur so if you multiply with the minus then uh, it will be j into ur uh, it will be j into ur minus pw so the, that will be uh, plus j into u r minus p w plus k into v p minus u q. So 
if you are uh, uh, writing it separately like uh, delta if we call it as a summation of all uh, forces in all direction so uh, that uh, summation in uh, x direction we uh, make it as like uh, uh, with respect to i so with respect to i is uh, i wa wa what we have like uh, for uh, uh, like uh, dvt by dt is i u dot plus uh, uh, j uh, v dot plus uh, k w dot so so with respect to i is that one and uh, omega cross omega cross vt is what uh, this one so so then you uh, take a common for x direction so that will be what u plus uh, wq minus vr because uh, for i here u uh, u dot is there and here wq minus vr is there so like that uh, with respect to x direction we write like that and the uh, same uh, in y direction m into v dot plus uh, u or minus uh, wp and in z direction m into w dot plus uh, vp minus uh, uq so in uh, all the direction we have uh, uh, wrote the uh, wrote the uh, forces are uh, like this then equation of motion for uh, equations for uh, angular momentum so angular momentum we denoted with dh by dt so this dh by dt like uh, that uh, angular momentum of a revolving body like a revolving body how we, uh, what type of revolving we are uh, considering here here we are considering the yawing moment of uh, uh, aircraft so that uh, yawing moment uh, like uh, suppose uh, this is an aircraft uh, we, uh, we we make it as a uh, arbitrary body so that arbitrary body so uh, the uh, uh, the moment with respect to cg is uh, this direction and that uh, 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 that uh, angular velocity will be omega into r so this is like uh, i mean uh, this is a cg and uh, with respect uh, with, with respect to cg one force is acting so that for that force will create a moment uh, around this point so that boy uh, uh, so the force uh, that for uh, the distance and force will uh, generally uh, make it as a omega into r so that omega into r will be the the tangential uh, velocity of uh, uh, the angular uh, the angular velocity of uh, that body so here you see the moment of element uh, element uh, elemental mass dm uh, uh, the angular velocity omega is equal to the tangential velocity of the uh, element of mass uh, uh, element of mass so if uh, that condition the dm we generally the dm will be generally be uh, denoted with uh, omega into r into dm okay so then the d uh, the dh uh, uh, the dh will be like uh, i mean uh, h uh, 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 h is like what uh, the moments acting uh, all over that uh, uh, all over that uh, i mean uh, for a uh, particular uh, element uh, the dm the moments are like that uh, so then the dh will be generally r into omega into r into dm omega into r into dm will be the uh, uh, mass uh, 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 angular velocity of mass uh, with respect to that element and uh, into r will be the uh, r cross uh, omega only we have considered so the total cross product uh, uh, we can uh, uh, we can write it as so i mean we can write it as like this so uh, so this is for uh, one element so all over the body if you want to take the moments so that we that we need to take it by integration of uh, this dh so the integral uh, uh, dh will be the integration of uh, this equation when we applying integration for that equation so r cross omega into r into dm so here the uh, same the omega uh, will be uh, denoted uh, uh, previously that is ip plus jq plus kr and r will be the uh, the distance from uh, uh, cg so that we denoted with ix plus jy plus uh, kz so again the cross product between omega and r will be uh, here uh, it is showing so the omega of uh, omega cross r will be the delta of this ma this matrix so the delta of this matrix will be i into uh, zq minus y r plus again uh, plus j we are making it as a uh, plus uh, uh, condition only so that will be uh, xr minus uh, uh, zp and plus k into yp minus uh, x cube so uh, again r cross uh, i mean uh, here uh, uh, the total equation will be r cross omega r so r cross omega r again we need to take that uh, 
data of uh, uh, another uh, uh, i mean data of these two uh, vectors so the these two vectors uh, again r will be x y z and uh, uh, omega cross r will be uh, with respect to i j k these are the uh, elements so if you do the uh, data uh, of this matrix so again i into uh, so if you do uh, ad minus bc so y square plus z square uh, into p Minus x y into q minus x z uh, x z into r uh, plus uh, g into z square plus x square into q minus y z r and uh, y z r minus uh, x y p uh, plus k into x square plus uh, x square plus y square into r uh, into p minus x y q uh, minus uh, x z r. So it's like a simple multiplication between the elements. So if you separate it out uh, each and every uh, element with respect to i j k. So, uh, with respect to ij can uh, apply the integration. So, we can write it like this integral of i into y square plus z square into p minus x y q and uh, x z r um, uh, up for dm plus uh, integration j will be like uh, z square plus uh, x square into q minus uh, y z r plus x y p into dm plus uh, k into x square plus y square into r minus x z p minus y z q into dm. So, if you write it separately, uh, 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 it will be looks like this. So, if you are uh, applying, like, uh, uh, like see here, the y square plus z square into dm is, will be uh, defined as the moment of inertia with respect to the x direction. So, so like uh, uh, y and z direction, like a uh, uh, breadth and uh, depth. So, that uh, y square plus z square up for dm will uh, generally be denoted with the moment of inertia of that uh, 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 element with respect to uh, uh, perpendicular to that uh, uh, levels, so that is uh, that will be i x. So that will be i x, and x y d m is the uh, the product energy of uh, 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 a product energy of uh, that element. So that we denoted with j x y. So then the h x will be like uh, uh, y square plus z square and uh, j x z, and h uh, y will be q i y. Q i y means uh, here you see. Uh, uh, here z square plus x square so z square plus x square will be uh, i y into q and h z will be like uh, 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 with respect to z will be what x square plus y square so x, plus, uh, x square plus y square is there then that will be uh, i z uh, uh, then uh, here that uh, x z and y z of uh, q uh, x z and y z will be uh, the uh, uh, angular moment of inertia I mean product of inertia so that will be like uh, 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 I mean R i z minus uh, uh, P j uh, P j x z. So then the total moments uh, on uh, that direction, like h x plus h y plus h z, will be like what? So d h by d t plus omega into h. So same as for uh, forces also. So if you write like this, then uh, d h by d t will be like uh, like what? So the d h by uh, h x, I mean uh, h is uh, having uh, x y z direction though so the x y z with respect to x y z direction uh, the differentiation will be p dot into i x plus uh, uh, r j r dot uh, j x z and uh, h y will be q dot uh, i y and uh, uh, d h z will be r dot i z uh, minus uh, p dot uh, x z uh, so then that uh, uh, cross product of uh, that omega into r will be like what so the so again we need to take uh, the moment I mean, uh, the vectorial form of uh, omega and h so the uh, h will be like hx hy hz uh, so hx hy hz will be uh, we have taken from uh, uh, the previous equation uh, uh, this only so i mean previous equation this only so that we we'll, uh, later we will uh, uh, substitute on this one so first we Take uh, the uh, dot um, in uh, uh, debt of this matrix. So the omega cross h will be equal to uh, so i into q h z minus r h y plus j into r h x uh, minus uh, uh, p h z and uh, plus k into p h y minus uh, q h x. So so that so this will be the omega cross h and uh, this uh, this will be the uh, uh, this will be what uh, first term and uh, this is the second term. So, the total delta m can be write it like i into sigma uh, uh, delta l plus uh, j into uh, delta m plus uh, k into sigma uh, delta m. So, uh, th this l, m, n is a different, uh, I mean, 
we have taken that uh, whole terms in uh, whole terms in the single uh, uh, single uh, uh, term so that will be like uh, here so because uh, l will be like what with respect to i with, i mean with respect to i values so that p p dot i x plus r j h x d h x values for for i is what p dot i x plus r j r j x r dot j x plus q r into i z minus i y minus p r into j x z so that is that we take it from here we are already we have we got now so h z and h q h z and h y so this h z is what Uh, if you uh, substitute in uh, uh, hz and h y, that means what q into hz is what uh, uh, r i z minus uh, p j x r i z uh, minus uh, uh, q uh, uh, what uh, uh, p uh, j j mm, sorry p so p Uh, j x z right uh, uh, so p j uh, x z so p j x z into uh, uh, q uh, minus uh, r into h y will be what uh, uh, h y will be q i y so this will be q i y so if you make the product of this one this will be q r i z uh, minus uh, p j x z minus r q i y so this is for uh, first term uh, same as for uh, second term and uh, third term if you take it separately it will be looks like this so that px uh, p dot uh, ix minus r uh, r dot uh, jx plus uh, qr into i ij minus iy minus uh, uh, pq into jx so for uh, uh, for m uh, for m uh, element uh, uh, same as uh, q dot iy Plus uh, uh, p r into i x minus uh, i z plus uh, p square minus r square into j x z, and for uh, 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 third term, so that will be r dot uh, i z minus uh, uh, p dot uh, x z uh, uh, plus uh, p q into i y minus i x plus uh, uh, q r into uh, j x z. So, and so this is the linear momentum equation with respect to three direction, and this is the Uh, i mean uh, 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 forces uh, uh, linear forces acting on uh, 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 acting with respect to uh, 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 the point so these are the forces uh, equation and these are the momentum equations so these are call it as the equations of motion used for uh, uh, used for uh, uh, making that aircraft uh, i mean uh, aircraft uh, um, motion can be defined with uh, by use, uh, defined by, by using uh, these equations okay so this is a summary of uh, i mean uh, summary of nomenclature like uh, with respect to uh, each direction and with respect to each uh, uh, movement what are the nomenclature we followed for uh, followed throughout our uh, discussion so like see like you see the forward and uh, right wing and uh, downward like a uh, right wing means what that is a uh, y direction and this will be like a uh, z direction and this is in the x direction so with respect to x the moment we 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 get it as rolling moment and with respect to uh, v we the moment we will get it as a pitching moment and with respect to z the downward uh, axis we uh, get the moment as yawing moment so the velocities with respect to all the moments is uh, generally denoted with u v w and the small angular displacement with respect to that like uh, like we said alpha beta gamma and uh, we further we uh, uh, make it in a simple uh, uh, simple uh, notation that will be phi theta psi so phi theta psi so phi theta psi will be like what uh, so uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, pitching moment so the pitching moment angle will be theta generally we uh, denoted with alpha but uh, uh, in a mathematical angular uh, uh, mathematical uh, uh, notation we denoted with uh, theta and uh, the yawing moment so the yawing moment will be uh, uh, with respect to this one or the, uh, this one so this angle will be like a uh, phi so this angle we generally uh, denoted with phi and the rolling moment so the rolling moment uh, are uh, like this or uh, uh, like this so with respect to uh, this one the uh, the angle we generally denoted with phi so Our further discussions also 
depend on this uh, notation only like a uh, phi theta psi and the angular velocities uh, will be pqr uh, uh, we generally uh, denoted with uh, pqr and the moment of inertia ix iy ij with respect to the all direction and product per moment of inertia will be jxy jyz and jzx uh, the forces acting on the each direction we denoted with fx fy fz and the angular momentum with respect to all uh, uh, each direction will be l m n so these are uh, like a third case of uh, uh, our uh, uh, alphabets so that uh, l m n capital l capital m capital n will be for uh, angular momentum so this momentum uh, uh, notations may change with respect to your convenience but uh, these notations will be constant everywhere you can uh, refer any book you will uh, get uh, this same uh, notation uh, same nomenclature uh, okay so this is the uh, uh, i mean uh, this is a uh, things like uh, this is the introduction and uh, uh, the derivation of equation of motion for uh, Uh, for an aircraft uh, in a longitudinal dynamics so by using this equation what is the uh, how we need to uh, derive the uh, moment coefficients uh, drag coefficient and lift coefficient uh, how we can get and how the how to get the dynamic stability and static stability with respect to this uh, equation of motion that we will uh, uh, that we will uh, see it in next class okay so these are the references i have taken for uh, this uh, 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 I mean, for, for this lecture, I've uh, taken the references from this uh, uh, Blake uh, Blake Lock uh, uh, book, a uh, automatic control of aircraft. So you can refer the book for uh, your uh, reference. Uh, and that's all for uh, today's session. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.